there, scientists. It's P.S. Science here, and if you would like to learn how to make a paper pendulum, stay tuned. So the materials for the pendulum are pretty basic. You just need a piece of paper, a sharp pencil, some tape, and a D battery or something similar in size. Just to give your pendulum a little weight, it helps it swing. And I'm gonna let you think about why that should be so. So we're gonna make a very basic pendulum and it's really easy. I've got my piece of paper here and I don't have a battery, but I have something that's shaped like a battery. So I'm gonna use this for my battery and I don't have a hole punch, so I've got a really sharp pencil and a screwdriver with a pointy end, so we'll see which one works best. So we're gonna start by rolling up the paper from one corner. Roll it. We're rolling it into a cone. And then when you get to the end, you can tighten it so that one end is kind of pointed and the other end is open. You can tighten or loosen your cone by pulling on that paper, kind of twisting the spiral. So I have a pointier end. You want to secure the cone, putting a piece of tape here at the end, and then another one here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut across to make it level. It doesn't have to be perfect, just cut straight across the top. And then you're gonna use your pencil to mark three spots where you're going to punch a hole. They should be evenly spaced. And if you want a hint, imagine a peace sign. Look at this diagram where each line meets the circle. That's where you can make a dot and get three evenly spaced holes. Give that a try. Then use your sharp pencil or your screwdriver or your hole punch to make the three holes in the top edge of the cone. Next, use the cone as your ruler and what you want to do is to get three pieces of string that are twice as long as your cone. So just line them up, it doesn't have to be exact, but you want three pieces of string twice as long as the cone. Now you're going to take each piece of string and thread it through a hole. You want to tie a knot, but here's where you have to be really careful. The cone is paper, so you don't want to pull the string too tightly. If you do, you'll rip the paper. Of course, if that happens, don't panic. You can just make another hole right next to it. But go through each hole with one of your three pieces of string. And then gather the string so that you can tie a knot at the top and tie those into a knot as well. And then you have a pendulum. Now this is where you're going to use your battery or something of similar size just to give your pendulum a little weight to help it swing smoothly. Remember, you're supposed to be figuring out why that should be so. Just drop it down inside the cone and voila, you have a pendulum. If you want to make two, Another exploration of potential and kinetic energy is to hang both of them from one piece of string like in this diagram and let them both hang until they're still. Then hold one and swing the other, give it a push, and let go. And watch what happens to the second pendulum. Even though you don't give it a push, what happens with the motion from the first pendulum? Can you identify a transfer of energy here? Can you identify where there's potential energy and where there's kinetic energy? So now that you've made your paper pendulum, you can use it to explore laws of motion and gravity, potential and kinetic energy. Think about it as it's swinging back and forth. If you just let it go after you give it just one push, what forces make the pendulum slow until it comes back to being still. What's going on there? Could you explain it? You could also use it for art. If you do a search online, you can find really fun projects for pendulum sand art or pendulum paint art. You can fill that cone with colored sand or with paint 
you can be creative, and then as the pendulum is swinging, you can create some really cool art by putting a piece of paper or something underneath. Have fun exploring, scientists, and I'll see you the next time. Okay, scientists, thanks for watching. Did you enjoy that lesson? Subscribe below to see more fun science videos. You can also become a member of PS Science on Patreon to support what we're doing. See you next time.